Okay, what I have here is I've brought the two boards closer to try to tighten the containment vessel. So you see my leakage is much less now. However, I'm realizing since the pressure of this water on this side, as soon as this fills up, is actually allowing those gases to escape. I, I have to make that a very tight containment vessel in order to get the proper reaction or up the inflow in order to compensate for the leak, which is doable, but I'm going to have to do it through that. And um, if I if I accent this one higher, I don't get the quite the, the correct reaction there. But what you would be looking at is in the actual Giza pyramid. This particular section is much longer. We're talking several feet, five six feet. So that air bubble, when it pops there, it will have the force of all the water to fill that void of a several hundred foot shaft that is a lot of weight that will be hammering down and that weight of that hammering down is what was the uh, catalyst for the reactions that John Cadman, the one who has um, gone through great efforts to say that this was a hydraulic pressure pump. Uh, he found the evidence and then, you know, worked in added parts and added valves to the system and some valve over here that flowed back and forth and other appendages. And uh, as I've said many times, if we're going to append the pyramid to make it do something, my vote would be the ancient earth milk energy dot com idea because then we can build a laser and he also focuses on um, several of the other features that I focus on that people ignore but um, in either case my goal is to reverse engineer the structure not uh, redesign it and use the existing pieces and parts and put new pieces and parts in place. But uh, this should give you some idea of what is occurring. And like I said, if I was blowing oxygen bubbles out this tube, it would fill this to compensate for the flow out. In fact, let's see if I can do that while you're watching, see how well this works. Well, I guess that kind of works. We'll see how that turned out so I can look through the video. But um, one thing I suggest, since I still have you as a captive audience, is to check out the Great Pyramid Project USA.com, where there is an effort in place to build a pyramid here within the continental United States. Pyramid will be the same size and external shape as the pyramid in Giza. Uh, some 450 feet tall. It would be, uh, what, about a one-fifth higher than the Lexor in Las Vegas. There are plans to put uh, uh, like a mini mall movie theater uh, and as well as the internal structures of several of the pyramids in the Giza Plateau area and the whole Giza area. So you can come to the safety of the United States where instead of getting shot or blown up, you can get molested or your belongings borrowed by uh, the TSA, but uh, at least you won't get shot or blown up. And you can come and visit some of the pyramids here in the United States, since uh, the external is something to take into awe, but really it's climbing around on the inside is, is where the fun part is. So why not do it in the uh, air-conditioned comfort of uh, the United States instead of the dry desert middle of nowhere? In Giza land. Uh, once again, that's thegreatpyramidproject.com and uh, USA.com, Great Pyramid Project USA.com. And I'm going to put links to that off of my website, uh, which would be uh, Giza, GreatGizaPyramid.com and uh, GreatPyramidProject.com.
And once again, my Great Pyramid Project is where I am asking you to submit to me your pictures and photos and videos from the Giza Pyramid while you were there. And I would like to construct a same way like Google has their street view, I would like to do a Giza Pyramid walkthrough. I would like to do it uh, both in the way the pyramid is current day and the way the pyramid was oh, a millennia ago uh, before we did repairs and upgrades so that people can actually see the system as it was so you can visualize the function and as, uh, as well as you know, pretend that you're there and take a tour. And with the whole Occam razor, Occam spectacles or whatever they are, and uh, Google glasses, I'm sure pretty soon we'll be able to actually take, you know, see this go to fruition where you can take a tour of the Giza Pyramid from your own privacy of your own home. If not, want to crawl through it in the privacy of the United States instead of flying to the desert in the middle of Giza land. Either case, please plus me, Facebook me, like me, share the news, help me uh, share the information. I mean, this is a learning tool, not a tomb. So, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Please drive through.